Hello and welcome to another episode of Embrace Your Outdoor Space. And in this episode, we're gonna be looking at chainsaws and how they can help you when it comes to logging, lopping and chopping your firewood. But when it comes to chainsaws, you've pretty much only got two choices when it comes to power. You've got the performance of petrol versus the benefits of battery. In this episode, we're going to be comparing both of these options. But first of all, why do you need a chainsaw? Sometimes it can feel like you're going into war with your garden, so having a chainsaw in your arsenal of garden machinery is a great way to speed up your sawing, especially if you're fighting with your firewood or battling with broken branches. Our first competitor, in the red corner, some say he hails from a dark, dingy shed somewhere in the bottom of the garden. With a reach of 16 inches and a runtime of anywhere between 3 and 30 minutes, depending on whether you remember to fill up with fuel or not, fighting for fossil fuel is our petrol-powered performer. And in our green corner, battling for battery, is a 60-volt lean green lithium machine from Greenworks. Again, with a reach of 16 inches. That's 40.64 centimetres for our UK audience. With a powerful 60 volt battery providing power for over 180 consecutive cuts. Say hello to the 60 volt brushless battery bomber. Now, before we commence with battle, in the interest of fairness, both chainsaws have been equipped with a brand new chain. Both are fully fueled. We've got a full tank of fuel in our petrol power performer and our battery battler has a fully charged 60 volt, six amp hour battery. And again, in the interest of fairness, both chains will be performing as efficiently as possible because we have filled both oil reservoirs with matching chain oil. But in the interest of unfairness to both of our competitors, they will be having to cut through this. Now, this is a solid piece of eight before oak. It's probably one of the hardest woods we have here in the United Kingdom and a real tough task for any chainsaw. So let battle commence. Test one, start up. How long will it take for each chainsaw to get into optimum cutting speed? Test two, cutting. Now, I just want to say, I have no idea how this test is going to come out. We haven't practiced it, we haven't rehearsed it. Genuine test, we'll get started. Let's get cutting and let's see if they can go toe to toe. Three, two. Now, for the cutting test, each chainsaw has 60 seconds to make as many cuts as possible into our oak sleeper. And I just want to reiterate that we're using seasoned solid oak one of the toughest native species here in the United Kingdom. So this is by no means an easy test for either saw. Now, in the interest of time, we've sped up the footage a little bit, but both were timed at 60 seconds. And let's see how they did. Mate, I am absolutely, genuinely gobsmacked. Genuinely. I know it's a subjective thing, but my personal opinion, you know, I've used this same chainsaw previously, and it has been well looked after, has been well serviced when well used. We've used this for some logging earlier on today. We used it the other day as well. During those cuts there, this just felt so much smoother in the hand. Didn't feel like it was dragging as much. This felt much clumsier in comparison. A lot more vibration running through the handle. And again, I know this is just a personal opinion, also, I don't know if you noticed, it's hard not to notice the amount of smoke and fuel and fume coming up. And now a lot of that can be attributed maybe to a richer mixture of two-stroke. But that is another negative of fossil fuel is the fact that you do get the fumes and the fuel and the leaking oil and the engine maintenance. Whereas this is just a lean, clean, green machine and a much more powerful one as well, as we've seen. Sorry to break up your artsy shots, Paul, but I want to show you another advantage of battery power. sawdust in my mouth. What's the advantage? I can take a battery out of my chainsaw and use that power in another tool. <laughs> Test three, noise. It might not be high on your decision making when it comes to buying a chainsaw, but it should be. Less noise makes for a safer working environment. Not only can I see what's going on, but I can also hear my surroundings. You'll thank yourself for buying a quieter chainsaw. So will your neighbors. 
So let's listen back to that test footage and see what the decibel meter picked up. Another thing that's worth considering is non-operational noise. Believe it or not, both chainsaws are currently waiting to work. That's better. But one is ready to roll without a racket. Now, before we move on to our fourth and perhaps final test, it's worth keeping tabs on where we're up to because our battery powered chainsaw is surging ahead with three points on the board, but can our petrol powered chainsaw pull one back and finally get a point on that scoreboard? Well, there's only one way to find out. Our fourth test is maintenance. The maintenance of a two-stroke petrol engine can be a messy and sometimes costly affair and somewhat daunting to domestic users. Over their working life, two-stroke chainsaws may require new cords, springs, filters, spark plugs, carburetors, cleaning, all of which adds up to the running cost. But by comparison, battery-powered chainsaws have fewer moving parts. There's no pull cord, there's no oils to change or save for chain oil, there's no fuel to add, filters to clean, or general frustration when it comes to maintenance. Just some basic cleaning and the occasional spray of lubricant will keep your saw ready for more. Now, in the matter of maintenance, I don't know about you, but for me, the battery-powered chainsaw wins again and wins overall and leaves our fossil-fueled friend floundering in a strong second place. So if you are thinking of purchasing a chainsaw, it might be worth considering the pitfalls of petrol versus the benefits of battery. Paul, yes. you know what I was thinking? Just wondering, is it tough enough? Is it tough enough? Is it on? My name's Tommy Cross, and this is the Chainsaw Toughness Test. Oh yeah. Now, in the interest of transparency, not only did I throw this underneath the truck, not only did I drive over the chainsaw using the truck, but I also threw it on the driveway numerous amounts of times because Paul demanded that it landed in shot. So. Cue that montage, Paul. Come and have a look at this. Superficial damage on the surface. I mean, I've just driven over it with the truck for crying out loud. A little bit scratching on the surface, a little bit scratching on the handle. But other than that, absolutely intact. So with all that trucking about, will it still cut? So if you're battling with your branches and you need tools that are tough enough to take on the task, check out the link at the end of the video. Cut. That's what I'm doing. 